dresses with blue satin sashes, snowflakes that stay on my nose and eyelashes, silver white wind. Now, that uh, we're joined here spring. with uh, Mr. Larry Hagman, and you heard earlier today a nice surprise from Patrick Duffy and from Linda Gray, the family from Dallas. Now, listen, I, 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 there was one other um, very significant date uh, in your life, and that was August 23rd of 1995. And I want to ask you what happened that day of your life. I had a liver transplant. You had a liver transplant. That's big. That is big. Yeah, yeah. Now, does that mean that you you, you were on hold for quite some time? Isn't that what no, happens? No, no, I wasn't on hold for a long time. No, uh, they, they said I had uh, two months to live. And when they opened me up, it was like two weeks to live. So I just got in under the wire. Can you just tell us, tell me a little bit about that experience? Uh, <laughs> well, I, yeah, I, I, you know, I'd been drinking quite a lot uh, at the time, and uh, I had uh, chronic cirrhosis of the liver. And they said, you know, you're going to have to stop drinking. Well, I had stopped drinking uh, about a year before that. But uh, uh, anyhow. I, I what gotta, age were you? Huh? What uh, age were 65. you? 65. Well, I'm, I'm so happy to see you sitting across from me. Me too. Um, my father passed away at 46 years old. Really? Oh, wow. Of, of, of Cirrhosis. Oh, really? Liver. No kidding. Sure, 46. Well, so, well, I guess he was drinking more than I was. I'll tell you. <laughs> <laughs> well, anyhow, it, uh, it came down to, to, you know, being under the wire, and I was a very lucky man. Does that affect your personality? I mean, no, the, I the hormones? I and don't the different, know about or that. No, I don't think so. No? It gave me diabetes, <laughs> the uh, medications I took, but I'm working on that. And uh, I did have an outer body uh, experience, and also I had kind of a, a cosmic experience, you know, kind of a um, spiritual experience. So I would guess the out of body experience is when you were outside looking down. Uh huh. All of a sudden, I was about ten feet above the operating table, looking down and hearing all this stuff. Do you remember how you felt about oh, that? Oh, I felt really good. Oh, wonderful! Absolutely ecstatic. It was just such a great experience. Like bliss. Oh, blissed out. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Now, um, Mr. Hagman here is um, has emerged as a leading industry authority in the alternative energy movement. And according to the California Public Utilities Commission and the Solar Electric Power Association, Mr. Hagman, your home is known to have the largest residential solar power system in the United States. What motivated the infamous Texas oil tycoon J.R. Hewing to shift to clean energy? Ah, yes. Well, <clears throat> a tree fell on, on a power line in Ohio and shorted out the whole of the eastern seaboard. Now, that was about four years ago and part of Canada. About 40 million people were without electricity for four days. And that's tremendous. And I thought, well, if... If the infrastructure is so delicate that a tree falling on a line would short out 40 million people, uh, I better do something about it myself. So I looked into solar power, and I have a, a little well uh, that uh, gives me water for my little farm, which is 44 acres. And I thought, well, if I can't get if I can't get electricity to to the pumps to get that well out, uh, I can't grow anything. So I put in a solar uh, unit down in the first one. And uh, and then it worked so well that I thought, well, I'll do my house. So I did one stage of the house. I did half of the house. And I did, the, after that was working well, I said, well, let's do the whole thing. I, in uh, 2002, I was paying $34,000 a year for electricity for all the water pumps and everything in my home. My a goodness. In 2007, I, I was paying 1500 And that is for kind of administrative stuff, you know. But I, I make more... Uh, power than I use. So every year, the uh, electric company uh, takes about $10,000 worth of power that I make. So I'm a electrical manufacturer. Uh, and they do this because out of the uh, $775,000 that it cost to put this in, they paid uh, $325,000. Uh -huh. So that l left me with $444,000 that I have to pay off, which... I'll do fairly quickly because the price of energy, as you probably all know, <laughs> is going up and up and up. And every year it goes up. And it's been above 6% for the last few years. So 
Right. Uh, it'll pay itself off, I figure, in about six years. You'd mentioned that you actually produce a surplus. Mm -hmm. Now, the surplus that you produce, uh, does the utility company pay you to no, buy that no, from no. you? They, they paid me th uh, $325,000 to begin with. Okay, that was like a rebate? So, yeah. So if they, if they want to take $10,000 a year, that's okay with me because they're going to be see. a long time getting their money back that's for sure okay but that was a rebate and they did come through i mean because you hear different things about oh no and they came through it was a lot of uh, technical work paperwork and so forth. yeah but th that's what really caused so much time for it to be put in but it does work and uh, well, i'm happy for it so even though you mr hagman have more solar panels than any uh, residential home in the united states possibly in the world uh -huh. i don't know if you know anyone that has more solar panels than you have no, no. so probably in the world well so you're producing enough electricity that you don't, you can you you can pretty much be off the grid. Uh, yes, yes. If I get uh, if I get some batteries. Okay. Yeah. And that's another eighty thousand dollars. Okay. Well, that's what Th, uh, my friend, used to do. He lived in the um, eco village, uh -huh. but he would just uh, back him up on batteries. Yeah. And um, now um, I had also uh, come across that you were urging Congress to extend to solar investment credits in the current energy bill. So are you a little well? Bit if they proactive? gave if they gave us the same. Uh, deal that they give coal and petroleum, I think we would do very well. I mean, after electricity, uh, if we don't have any, I mean, that's chaos. I mean, you can't pump uh, fuel out of the uh, gasoline station for your cars. That's right. Nothing works. Well, I'm telling you, Mr. Hagman, you are amazing. And, uh, y you know, what an what an icon and what a... Uh, uh, an environmentalist, too, on top of all that. I want to close today with a quote by Ralph Nader, and that is, quote, The use of solar energy has not been opened up because the oil industry does not own the sun. End quote. <laughs> That's very good. Yeah. <laughs> so, Mr. Hagman, thank you so much for joining us today on Healthy Planet, Healthy Me. Thanks also for... Uh, my, for joining us today, uh, Mr. Hagman's beautiful, lovely wife. We'll see you next week for another exciting show. Together and what do you got?